I'm gonna change things up a little bit. So today, I'm down at the RV Supercell at Market Hall in Dallas. So we're just gonna go in here and, and see if we can find some interesting and unique RVs. The interesting and unique stuff that's available now. Hopefully we can find something that'll entertain us. In the door here at the Dallas RV Super Sale. I'm gonna do a, a run through just to see what there is to see and then come back and start looking at individual units. We're gonna check out the Verona. Check this out. This is the Verona Holiday World. And it's built on a Freightliner chassis. It's a big old diesel power plant. Oh, aqua hot. Cool. No more running out of hot water. Now look at that big old storage bay. Uh, now this is cool. A Dometic on a slide. With, with Miss V, one of the, I keep telling Yappy that we need to get into, get ourselves a 12 volt freezer, refrigerator. It seems like even, even with the residential fridge that we have, it's it's just not enough. So, 50 amp service on a cord reel. Oh nan, six thousand. Is it six or eight? Eight, eight thousand. Oh nan, eight thousand watt. Renegade wet station. A little bit of a sticker shock, almost 300, but okay. Residential style. We have a separate washer and dryer. So we, we have a separate washer and dryer. Nice bathroom. There's a King Master. Big wardrobe. Lots of room for all your clothes. Check it out, you can lay in bed and, and watch TV. Well, one, of, one of the things that I don't care for back here, is there's really, I have to have a CPAP machine. There's really no place to put the CPAP. I mean, you can put your phones there, but my CPAP really wouldn't fit there. Sharing it with the world. Dude RV on YouTube. Now that's a pretty cool floor plan, the way that lays out. You don't have to twist your head to watch TV. And we are in a B plus configuration. I've made it outside and this one caught my attention. This is the Greyhawk Prestige. There's a, I, can, I haven't even gone in it. I, I can see there's a lot of cool things going. Number one, there's two air conditioning units up there. That's typically not something you see in a Class C motor home. And it has a fiberglass roof. That really excites me. Outdoor Entertainment Center. Big awning. does not seem to have a whole lot of exterior storage it does have a full wall slide but man there's just there's just not a whole lot of outside storage on this one let's go take a look inside the, the 30xp it is built on the 
E450 chassis, which is pretty much that's what we're running now. I really like the, the leather. Nice big bunk. And I love that glass up there. The sofa turns into a bed, obviously, and the dinette. We do have storage under the dinette, but that would be uncomfortable for me because there's no neck support. But Mama loved that kitchen though. That'll make Yappy happy. Lots of room. Two bowl stainless steel sink, a high point microwave convection, a three burner gas stove for that bacon and egg breakfast, baby. Hey, how about some hot chocolate chip cookies coming out of that propane fired oven? Queen size master. But there's a place for the CPAP machine. Nice big wardrobe. Plenty of place for mama to put her clothes away. And last but not least, the shower. Yeah, that's spacious. Pretty cool. Especially since there's two AC units. Really like that. Winnebago Revel. Check this out. Built on the Sprinter van chassis. This is for really getting doing the van life off road. So there's a bed that drops down. So you've got a, a great garage for your bicycles or whatever gear you're taking with you. And I could put a little red in there. Outside 110 and TV. Integrated awning. Table. Outside table. You can dine outside in style. Swivel seats on the front. Little refrigerator. Hot plate. I'm, I'm assuming that this is equipped with solar. Wet bath. Yeah, we are equipped with solar. There's a control for the bed. Now that, that's kind of cool. Uh, I guess you could set up you do a workstation there and then you could probably do another workstation back here so we're going to take a look at the mountain series outdoor rv looking for unique things now this is a 28 bks now i was just informed by the camping world what is your name justin justin g from camping world way up in oklahoma right yep, podo podo podunk oklahoma that's right these are built on a horse trailer chassis, so the suspension is much better than you typically find on a travel trailer. Heavier duty, and you look like, see by the tires that it's a much beefier suspension. But there's a trade-off. You get a beefier suspension, then you're gonna have an issue with the weight. Um, one that we were looking over there, it actually had a generator incorporated under the master but this one just has a full pass through. It is a queen master. There's ample storage in here. Plenty of room to put all your, all mama's clothes away. A little bit of storage under the bed there. That's where, that's where daddy gets to put his clothes. What, what is unique about this one, there's a couple, there's two things. The first one is look at the size of that dinette. And then when this is made into a, a bed, it will actually sleep an adult. It's seven feet long. So you can put two adults into this. It's got a great big single bowl sink and a sprayer for washing your veggies and your dishes. We've got a three burner gas stove for cooking up that bacon and egg breakfast, baby. Oh, hey, how about some hot chocolate chip cookies coming out of that propane fired oven? It's actually one of the bigger propane ovens. You can probably cook a big old bird in there too. Oh, that's just nasty. Two-way power refrigerator freezer. So you can get out there and do some boondocking and not have to worry about having a big battery bank to power an air conditioner. Look at a TV, man. That's a big TV. You can sit back, kick back, put your feet up and relax after a long day of fun and adventure. So there's one big long slide there. The full-size bunks, we're going to have a unique thing. First, we're going to look at the restroom. Nice big shower. 
sink for washing your hands and your teeth. Now you'll notice that I had that flipped up. So outside on this timber ridge, we have a door. And in the door, we have a little, little storage area. I guess you could put your bicycles in here. I'm, the one th thing I don't care about this is it's got the strut. So you can't open that all the way up. It would be great if you could open that all the way up. And that way you really could put the, the bicycles in there. All right, I've been getting the rundown on the latest backcountry series mountain tracks by Outdoors RV. Now this is a sister company to Arctic Fox. Now this is a model number. It's a Four Seasons 20 BD. And them big tires are Goodyear tires. These trailers come with shocks on the suspension. They are truly designed to be off-grid. It's got a half pass-through with a slide-out tray because on the other side there is a generator. The tool equipment mounts. It comes equipped with 40 pound tanks. It's already equipped with solar. It's expandable. This is a true Four Seasons RV. It has thermal pane windows. It is manufactured out of all American steel and all American aluminum. It comes with 100 gallons of water storage. It's an Onan 3600 LP generator. Now that's enough to run a refrigerator and an air conditioner to keep you cool when it's hot. Let's go take a look inside. <laughs> now tell me about your truck. Okay. Nice big stainless well, sink things. with a sprayer. High point microwave. Yeah. An oven. Bacon and eggs, baby, coming off that three burner gas stove. It's queen size master. There's a gun safe in here. A little bit of storage underneath. A little bathtub, but plenty of shower space. Pretty cool. All right. This is definitely one you might want to look into if you're looking at thinking about doing some boondocking in a travel trailer. So I'm hanging out here at, at the Dallas RV show with, with Mark Lamb and Dwayne White and they're with DFWRVRoof.com out of Denton, Texas and they've got the coolest thing. Flex Armor. It's called Flex Armor. So, so Mark give us a little rundown on what sets you apart from anything else? Well, I, I got started in this business as a customer first when I was tired of fighting for roof problems. And I, uh, I, I drove my RV to Green Coast Springs, Florida, where RVRoof.com was founded. Had, had this flexible roof put on my RV. Asked the man to invent it. You ever thought about location in Dallas, Fort Worth? Because I just drove a thousand miles one way to get this roof. I was so impressed with the product. I sold my previous business of 22 years, which was DFW Honda in Grapevine, Texas. Motorcycles, ATVs, all that good stuff. Sold that business and opened this business three months later, which was January 17. And we've done 215 roofs since then. But the advantage of the Flex Armor roof, and I tell my customers, stay off your roof, it's dangerous. It's a no maintenance roof. You never have to get up there and work on it again. It's so, so I won't have to climb up there every year and put the Dalcor self-leveling seal nope. on there? No, nope. you can see we eliminate Dalcor. Here's Flex Armor, and then here's the old school. So here's what they come with, there's what we do. So we eliminate Flex Armor, I mean, so we eliminate caulking. We can, we can spray it on any type of roof. The prep process depends on the type of roof. And we've even done six vehicles for FEMA. FEMA doesn't go where the weather's good, and their vehicles are like million, two, three million dollars because of what's inside of them. About how long does it take? To three days. Fit? Two and a half, three days we can do a roof, a 40-foot fifth wheel roof. And Ballpark. And another each case is really, be really easy. 185 bucks a linear foot. So a 40-foot fifth wheel, take one of these big old 40-footers, or if we do a 40-foot roof, $7,400 total. So it's just a lengthier roof times 185. Now, if you've got some major roof problems like rotten decking, the decking is an additional cost, but that's maybe 10% of the jobs we do have rotten decking or it's so bad we need to replace it. A lot of times it's just a, 
a couple of square feet. So, well, let's say my my EPDM roof is is cracked, and I'm looking at replacing that. So you're telling me that you can put this spray coating on there, yep. and I won't have to replace the EPDM. We're going to remove any loose material. We're going to remove it around the perimeters of all the components and the perimeter of the RV, so we don't have to get rid of all of it. Now, if it's all loose, then yeah, we're going to take it all off. We're going to spray it directly on the wood. But we have a special sealer we use on wood because this stuff's sprayed at 160 degrees, and it doesn't even mix till it comes out of the gun. So when it mixes, it goes up to 200 degrees, and if there's moisture in your roof, it's going to make steam come up and make pinholes in the flex armor. So we're all about making sure the roof's bone dry before we spray it. So um, two and a half, three days, we can, we can put a roof on your RV to outlast the RV. So how can we find you? Uh, DFWRVRoof.com or RVRoof.com. I'm the seventh authorized service center or authorized applicator for RVRoof.com in America. And I was a customer first. I had it put on my RV roof and I was just like, man, this is a answer to a nationwide problem because all RV roofs are junk. Doesn't matter if it's a thousand dollar used travel trader or a million dollar prevost, they're gonna leak unless our product's on them. So if you guys need to have some roof work done, you know who to call. That's More to come. All right, now here's something, <laughs> something we haven't seen in a long time. Pick up a, a, a truck camper. This actually has two outside awnings on it. Oh man, this this is <laughs> this is all right for a truck camper. Check this out. Nice big kitchen in the corner. Very spacious dinette on the slide. A TV. And then the restroom is up here. And that's actually a dry bath too. That is that's cool. Check that out. Two-way power refrigerator freezer. That's really cool. And two wardrobes. Full it's a it's a small queen though, so that would be kind of a I guess there's just one wardrobe over there. That'd be kind of a drawback though, there's not, a, not enough room for me to flip and flop. The Villaggio by Renegade on a Sprinter chassis. 94, 997, show price. Got an awning so you can sit out. You can have a party on the patio. It actually has quite a bit of storage out here. This one is equipped with a 3200 Onan generator, rear cap, rear view camera. Lots of space in the driver compartment. That's not too bad. The booth dinette, I guess you can convert that, you know, take the table out and use that as a lounger or make it into a bed that would not be a real comfortable lounger refrigerator propane stove for that bacon and egg breakfast a high point microwave vanity a dry bath very cool Lots of space in that dry bath, too. The Queen Master's kind of small for us, though. There's my rubber proof again. I like that. We didn't interfere with you, did we? No, you're good. Y'all come on in. Well, obviously, it can hold five people without too much of a challenge. <laughs> All right. More to come. All right. Couldn't leave without seeing it. This is the show hauler. And the resale value is a lot better.
Yes, indeed. Check this out. Now that is a shower. That is really cool. Come on, Aspen. See your line. Seven push out. Seven. Oh, it is out. It's not out very far. I jumped down from that, that bunk, please. Yeah. Remember, Corvette is on the list. You didn't find the Corvette. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hey, please don't climb on, on, on the box, please. Please don't climb on the box. fifth wheels here at the Dallas RV show but there's only one that really caught my attention and this is a solitude by grand design and you'll notice it's got the great big forward basement well, it's not great big it's got a big forward basement but what caught my attention was back here look at this basement man That is a massive basement. So look at how much space you have. You talk about carrying some cargo. Yeah, it just slides out, doesn't it? Yeah. That is the biggest basement I've seen on any fifth wheel. Let's go see how they've got that configured inside. Now this is a model ST380FL. It's this one here. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Dining for four. Big kitchen. A little half bath. That's cool. And a king size master baby. That's what I'm talking about. Storage underneath. And then, <laughs> look at that. King size master bath at two. Uh, place for mama to sit and shave those beautiful legs. Two sinks. Washer and dryer ready. Put a stackable in there. And then it's got the front living. So if we if we're going for a bathroom bath, this is this is the configuration right now because on top of it it has a double sense of the back. So if we front living with a with a fireplace. We're not gonna interrupt because they're buying. We've explored some really big RVs and some medium-sized RVs, and now let's look at some little RVs. Teardrops. This one. Who's this one by? Well, I don't see a brand on it. It's a good, it's a bed with an air conditioner. That's what's important, right? Yep, nope. Got a ice chest, a sink, and two burner gas stove. The tag. And then over here, a little bit bigger. This, this is just a bit more this one has kind of got some big wheels on it. Looks like they are intending for you to go out. It's called a Boondock Light diamond plate propane box. Integrated solar. It's the Tab 320. All right, so there's not enough room for me to stand up in here, but that's all right. There's a wet bath so you can take care of business. A little lounge area converts into a bed. You got a little tiny kitchen area. 
with a refrigerator. Two more of these to look at. A little tiny tag. bed with an air conditioner and then a rear kitchen and the last tag is a little bigger $32,997 so 400 we can look in from here so here is the bed area A little tiny full-size bed, refrigerator, wet bath, and a little dinette. And I can actually stand up completely in this one. Screen, keep the bugs out. Well, that brings us to the end of our visit to the Dallas RV Super Sale. The Dallas RV Show, I guess you'd call it. Man, there's a lot of RVs. Some cool stuff. I was really impressed with the, the roof covering. That was the most impressive that caught my attention. We're going to head to the house. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed our visit to the Dallas RV Super Sale, give me one of those thumbs up and blast me out across social media. I'd appreciate you clicking on the subscribe button. Following along, I've still got state parks coming your way. Y'all come back now, you hear?